everybody this lesson is for first and second grade last week in our art class or two weeks ago we read the book giraffes can't dance and then last week we drew a picture of our giraffe dancing and then and I love the pictures that you guys showed me it was great today we're going to color it in with crayons and we're also going to do some painting with our watercolors so here's the supplies we need today we need crayons and we need the set of watercolors that I gave you if you have a hard time opening it there's a little clippy thing at the side and you just kind of use your thumb to hold it open but it, it can be tricky the first couple times so ask an adult or a big brother or sister to help you this paintbrush is super important it's the only one we have so it lives in here as soon as you're done rinse it out with water you can just gently squeeze it off super gently and put it in here this is where it sleeps tuck it in bed put its little lid on like a blanket and never let it out of here or you're gonna lose it and that would be so sad okay and then we also need water so you can get um, just a mug or something a big heavy cup from your kitchen um, if you use plastic sometimes plastic cups fall over and then you have a big spill so I would use something heavy like this and it's okay because this um, as long as you wash it right away this is not gonna hurt you to use it in something that we drink food out of it's it's okay and um, or I use a little plastic a plastic container like this and I don't fill it up all the way because we don't need to I'm gonna use this today all right so I'm gonna flip my camera around and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna color hang on just a second okay friends so we're not gonna color everything with crayons some of what we're gonna do is with paint so for your giraffe the yellow I'm gonna do the yellow with paint later so I'm just gonna do the orange spots or you could do brown spots with the crayon you can also get really creative and do pink spots or purple spots you can do what do what makes you happy and have fun with it but I think I'm gonna stick with a traditional draft color I'm actually gonna do brown and I'm gonna get out a black to use for the tail and the tops of the the little horns and the hoofs are black so I'm gonna color that in really quickly Okay, so I finished coloring it in. And remember, I left this all white because later I'm gonna use yellow paint. And does anybody remember the cool thing that happens when we put paint on top of crayon? As long as we pressed nice and hard, you have to press nice and hard with your crayon, then you do paint and the paint won't stick to the crayon. It's really cool. So I colored this in and I outlined it. If we outline with crayon, that way we make sure it all shows up. Now, in this book, we need to start thinking about a background. A background is what goes behind the giraffe. So in this book, when he was first feeling the music, he had all the forest things around him and it was nighttime and there are stars in the sky and a big moon. So maybe you wanna do stars and a moon. And here's some plants and the ground. In this picture, he has trees behind him. Um, and some, he's standing on the grass, let's see. In this picture, there's the moon and the stars. In this picture, there's plants, okay? And in this one, there's plants and trees. So think about what do I want to have behind my giraffe? So for me, I think I'm going to do um, some grass and maybe some trees. So I'm gonna do, now he's jumping. So he's actually gonna be above the grass. I'm gonna go like this for the grass. Now I'm not gonna color all the grass in. I'm just gonna do some lines to show that it's grass. Because later, I'm gonna take my paint and I'm gonna paint the grass. And maybe, let me use a different, this is, I'm gonna put some flowers in the grass. And maybe it'll be nighttime on mine, so I'm gonna do a moon. Um, actually, no, I think I'm just gonna do trees. I think I'm just, let me think. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some trees. Um, here are my tree leaves. It's gonna be like a palm tree. And it's halfway off the paper, and that's okay. I'm imagining trees everywhere, so we can only see some parts of the trees trees and bushes. You can even see the branch on that one and that's okay. 
here's a big leaf, big branch coming in. Okay, and I'm going to draw the lines on some of these big leafy things. I'm going to use some green. I'm going to add some lines on here, but I'm not coloring it in because remember, I'm going to color it in later with paint. Okay, and I'm going to put some of this light green in the grass too. And I think that's good enough for me. Maybe some more flowers. Maybe a big flower right here. Okay, now, whoopsie, I almost lost a crayon. Now it's time to paint. So let me move my crayons out of the way. Hang on. Okay, so I cleaned up my crayons. Now to get our paint working, right now it's super dry. We need to get some water in there. The very first time you use this, you, you need to get a little bit of water in there. Okay, there. And now we can see the color starting to get ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to start with my trees. There we go. We got a little bit more water. And there's my awesome green tree. Yay! Every time I get more paint, I like to get more water because this is called watercolor. We need to have water in order to make the paint work. Okay, so that's how it looks on a leaf. Now I'm going to try my giraffe. I'm going to get some yellow. Okay, so, ooh, nice yellow on here. Let's do his head. Let's see what happens when I go on top of those spots. Let's see if they show through the paint. Get some more water. Sometimes if you have too much water, you can just gently wipe it off on the side. All right, look at that. We can see the green showing right through. Now look, I keep painting. See how my brush is getting scrubby looking? Don't scrub at your paper. As soon as your paintbrush runs out of color, you need to dip it in the water, wipe it once, and get some more, okay? You can't keep scrubbing like you do with a marker or a crayon. You always have to keep dipping in, okay? So just take your time, water, paint, and keep on going. If I were you, I would leave the background white because that's a lot of space to paint. If you really want a color in the background, I would use a crayon. I'm gonna pause it and finish it up and show you how it looks when it's done. Okay, friends, I am all done. Now, if I'm gonna take a picture of this for my art teacher, what I suggest for you is wait a little bit because if you hold this up, all the paint is gonna drip. So maybe wait until it's dry before you send me a picture. Also, a couple tips for you. My paint is super duper wet. So leave it open for a little bit so it can dry out before you close it. If you close it up and turn it sideways, it's all gonna drip and make a giant mess. One more tip. Do you see how I spilled some yellow or some green into my yellow? Here's how we fix that. Take a paper towel and just tear a small piece off of the paper towel. Okay, about this big. Maybe fold it up a little bit so it's not too big and just push it once inside your color, pick it up, and there it is. And now it's just about clean. That's how you can clean out. I'm gonna fold it one more time and get that little spot of green. That's how you can clean it up. Okay, but they're yours, so take care of them and try to keep them nice and neat. Okay, that's it. Have lots of fun. Bye.